Hi guys, my name is Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today we start a new series in which I will share with you my ideas and thoughts about different high technology projects I found promising and interesting for myself to invest in. Thinking over the topic for the first video in this series, I was thinking of those of you guys who would love to influence the global change in the world but don't want to leave a comfort zone of your cozy couch in the living room. Today you can have such an opportunity. In this video I will introduce you guys to a project that will allow you to participate in the creation of advanced technology, even being a kind of ordinary person like I am. As always, I must tell you guys that I am not a financial advisor and everything you see in here in my channel is my personal analysis, thoughts and ideas based on my daily research. You are responsible for your investments, so don't forget to analyze this stuff, guys, before investing money. And let's get started. So guys, the project is called Cambria. Let's take a closer look at this project. It's an open innovation platform for deep tech in areas such as uh, virtual reality, robotics, blockchain, Internet of Things and many others. If you guys don't know what deep tech is, deep tech are companies, more often startups, whose goal is to offer global technology solutions that require long research and large investments. Deep tech solutions are often so global that they can create new markets and restore existing ones. Cambry is committed to collaborating with government agencies, leading universities and cutting-edge companies. Through these collaborations, Cambria is creating a sustainable, open innovation ecosystem that improves innovation process and accelerates the development of cutting-edge technologies as well as their adoption by the industry. Anyone can collaborate on research, development and commercialization of deep tech solution using their platform with the NFT IP marketplace and decentralized autonomous organization DAO for short and get a kind of a fair reward for their contribution. The main goal of the project developers is to solve the problem of irrational use and inefficiency of today's innovation model. What they propose is decentralization of the ownership, development and commercialization of technology. They use some main components to implement their solution. I will now briefly talk about each of them. The first one is the startup program, which aims to bring together solution seekers and innovators to develop deep technology solutions. The second component is the project portfolio. It's something like a repository of deep tech projects. It actually helps them to connect with Cambria network for collaboration opportunities. The third component of the solution implementation is Cambria DAOs. It's a shared technology ownership model for the community. Then they have Open Innovation Hubs. It's a global network of partners to accelerate open innovation around the world. The next component is called Education. I like that there will be a place where the project community can share experiences and learn together. I think it's a good idea. Alright guys, the next component is their economics. They will use Cambria tokens to interact in the Cambria ecosystem. And now I will share with you a little more in detail the last component Cambria plans to use solving the problem of operational use and inefficiency of today's innovation model. It's called Cambria NFT IP program. It allows innovators to license, monetize and protect their intellectual property. This is essential in an NFT-based marketplace that is owned by and works for developers. Innovators can make money by selling licenses. You can also buy intellectual property licenses to develop legacy solutions without starting from scratch, saving time and effort in product development. And now guys, more about the most important part of the project. Cambria DAO is an opportunity for you guys, the community members, to become co-owners of the technology. Control is shared among all participants who can use control tokens to vote on DAO rules or changes. Voting rights are equivalent to the number of tokens they possess. That means, guys, the more tokens you have, the stronger is your vote. 
Now let's take a closer look at the platform model. It was pretty interesting to read about it, maybe a bit complicated to understand at first glance. Take your time guys and make a proper research of the project to understand the details as well. So the project at the platform goes like this. A development team or tech corporation presents its proposal to Cambria with a technology solution that they can develop and open for the community to share. The community can also create such proposal itself in case if anybody generates ideas and votes in the community. Once a proposal is selected, the community recruits a development team to work on the solution. After reviewing and qualifying, Cambria opens a DAO for the proposed solution. The community collectively buys the solution by participating in the DAO. And in the case the DAO receives enough money, the developers get a green light and can start working on the solution. The progress will be monitored monthly. At the end of each month, the development team will submit their report their work will be reviewed and approved by a judging committee consisting of their representatives and invited technical experts. The development fund will then be distributed to the development team. And now let's take a look at the initial capital and the distribution of income. The initial capital is the fund contributed by DAO members. It's used to develop the solution, commercialize it and organize the DAO. 60% of the capital is used to develop the solution. The specific amount is determined by the proposal of the development team. 30% goes to commercialization. Marketing and business development work in the revenue phase. DAO may choose to outsource this work to outside services or DAO members may apply for promotional services as contractors. Payouts are proceeded according to the terms of service. The rest of the cash goes to the DAO organization. Cambria works to support DAO's interaction with the platform, ecosystem, consulting and takes responsibility for the coordination efforts. Revenues from the solution services or solution licensing will be split as follows. 30% goes to the implementation of the service and the remaining 30% goes to the distribution of revenue to the contributors to the DAO fund. Contributors to the fund will have DAO LP tokens according to the amount of their contribution. Cambria's DAO LP tokens are revenue sharing tokens that will bring more benefits because of two of their features. These are a clear relationship between the commercial success of the DAO and the value of the token and also a predetermined revenue stream for token holders. It means holders will be rewarded instantly at the time of revenue recording. This model looks quite convenient for all participants and aims to withdraw all possible risks. Well, I'm excited to hear about this project and its successes very soon, I hope. If you find the project interesting, subscribe to their social media to stay well informed. That's all about Cambria from my side for today. In my opinion, this project could serve as accelerator to our technical progress guys. I just want to say thank you very much for watching this part of the series. Leave your comments, I want to know what you're thinking about this project or maybe you have some ideas or thoughts you want to share with me and others. The most interesting ones will be mentioned in one of my next videos. I always enjoy reading your thoughts, ideas and recommendations, guys. In the next part in this series, you will see another high-tech crypto project I found promising for my investments. Please like my video if you were entertained or got value from it. Ding the bell so you don't miss the future videos and don't forget to click on the end card to watch the next part in the series. See you soon!